What's up, everybody? All righty, ready. What's up, uh, you fear the scat man? What's up, James Melton? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, Tim Miner? How's it going? Got you guys another project today, and we're going to go through the whole thing because, uh, uh, if you don't, if you're not up uh, on the Discord, you, you're, you're unaware. But we had uh, some piping issues here at the house yesterday, so I was planning to go live yesterday with with uh, the lids to this, and then I was gonna take today to do the sides, and then work on a, uh, you know, a couple other things that I had. But I got caught up playing plumber yesterday, so uh, uh, luckily I got it all fixed, and it's really nice, and and I'm really happy with new piping and hopefully it just it lasts for a while um uh yeah but so i ended up ha that ended up having to take my whole day like <laughs> it just it was started off with like oh yeah i'll just replace this piece and then uh yeah five six pieces later i was like dang this, this is like i was supposed to be streaming right now but hopefully now we don't have to worry about it nice and so this uh, saddlebags here this customer provided these pictures of some artwork that he wanted um, on them so I can't take really credit for the original designs uh, but I'm not really gonna copy them direct because all I did is make like kind of a an outline stencil here and then I'm going to kind of do my own flavor of shading and that whole shebang. And all I'm doing is going over with some of the new Wicked Jet Black and just lightly kind of coloring it in. It's just a paper stencil, so I don't want to super saturate it. And we also just need a clean transfer. We don't need to make it all crazy. You drew your first character yesterday. Oh, what character did you choose as your first that's pretty cool. What's up, 50 Nuts? How's it going? What's up, Ash, Ash Thompson? Sorry, I don't, I don't know why that was so hard to say all of a sudden. Uh, what's up, Top Notch family? What's up, Mark Werner? How's it going? Thank you, thank you, everybody, for uh, again, joining up, keeping me company. So, yeah, and he wants the same image mirrored on the other side, so... It was worth it for me cutting a stencil. I also made a stencil for the sides, and I made it in two different sizes. Uh, so we'll have to see kind of what fits best once we get there. But we're gonna just start with the top. So all you, you know, got a nice transfer. Gonna make sure the stencil's uh, dry before I lay it back on the other side. Right? So just let it dry a little bit. What's up, Mike Graves? Uh, Josue? Saludos? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just going to mirror it on the other side and we're going to do them both, both sides at the same time because that'll be the most efficient way of doing it and it's just easy since we're going to do the same colors on both sides it's just white and black and the reason we're only doing white and black is because this is like a collab, I guess, with a, with another, with a painter here in town. Um, and this customer, I guess, has a, a certain painter that's painting his bike. Um, and, uh, you know, that guy's, I guess, really good at painting and stuff, but uh, he doesn't do much airbrushing. So we're just kind of collabing on this together. I got the spacing here correct. Pretty much goes all the way off. Perfect. Cool. And so I'm just doing the artwork. Um, and, well, I should say I did the prep too, because he brought it in, and you could tell they had just hit it with a scuff pad. And I was like, uh, I'm going to hit that with wet sandpaper just to make it sure like everything sticks. Uh, so that's what I did. I just made sure to wet sand everything up. Then we're doing the artwork. And we're doing it in black and white. And the guy, I guess, is going to lay more candy 
on the bike so this is like a candy paint job behind here you just can lay more candy so that'll you know that'll set these in with the paint job just you know typical artwork addition and uh this bike actually we did work for it uh last year was it last year or the year before last i don't know we did uh some like uh it's like a, a clown gangster guy on the front uh, on the front fairing for him and so keeping with that theme he just wanted uh, kind of like gangster clown girls on the saddlebags and so this one has a gun and a rose and her face and then the ones on the side this has a gun with some money that money 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 and all I did to the paint uh, to get to flow we had, we're working like 25 psi and all I did is add like 5% reducer on both the black and the white and these are the wicked new wicked opaques opaques <laughs> you heard me right the opaques <laughs> let's see yeah, we can set this aside we can use that again like if we need it to re you know recenter our lines or something <clears throat> uh your new airbrush came yesterday to sparmax nice the sparmax is actually one of the airbrushes i keep here on my workbench i have four airbrushes at any given time hooked up and my sparmax max 3 uh, definitely stays hooked up and uh, that review that I just put up, that Harder and Steinbeck, that Ultra. So this is it right here. And uh, this is actually one that stays hooked up too. Um, yeah, and now that I know that this front part comes off, which nobody, you know, it doesn't really say that anywhere. But now that I know that that front part comes off, oh, I have been loving it a little bit more. But I already loved it. It was already part of the workbench. It's been already kind of just being used. You know, behind the scenes and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, we have our transfers here, and I'm just gonna cut, start cutting in with the white. We're gonna go white all the way over, and then we're gonna come back in with the black. Cut in with some black. Gonna probably use some shields. Uh, so got a bunch of, you know, or not a bunch of, but I got a few shields here, different ones. Gonna use that to uh, kind of create her hair and stuff. Maybe some effects here on the rose. And yeah, if you guys have any questions along the way, just make sure you pop them in the chat. I'll be answering, looking over. And again, thank you, thank you for just keeping company while I'm painting. Uh, let me pull this up on the phone real quick. Set it over here just so I have a good idea what I'm doing. chose Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is a good one. I could draw Mickey Mouse out of my, um, like, just out of memory. <laughs> Alright. So I'm just going to start with this one. Let's kind of get you guys in there. And I don't think I could go so much so close because I think the camera freaks out. So we'll keep it something like this. There you go. Um, so let's see here. <clears throat> you're gonna start airbrushing. Nice. Cool, cool. What do you get? What 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 made you want to start airbrushing? Like, what are you looking to paint? Um, 
you airbrushed a mask with airbrush pretty use and it faded slowly do you think it I reduced it too much or am I doing something wrong um, it depends what paint did you use so I have a video literally coming up right about this because there's kind of been this whole now that with the merger right it's, it's easier than ever to explain which createx paint you should be using but there are different lines and they have their different purpose and um, you know there, there's a reason they they tell you which one to use and they have different lines if it didn't matter then they wouldn't be different lines they would just be the same createx paint all over they are intermixable for art but for certain stuff um, you know you're gonna want to use certain ones Reduction does definitely do that. <clears throat> it over reduction for sure. On anything that's going to be out in the elements. So, it's always something to be careful about. Got some artist pencils today at Walmart of all places. Nice. What's up, Ton Van? Ton Van de Ton Van der Willen. That's, that's like, that's, that's, like, I like it. Sounds very official, your name. And so I'm just going to start building it in a little lightly here with the white. Um, I'm going to try to leave some of that red kind of, you know, showing through, obviously. And then, um, you know, when I cut it with the black, we're still going to try to leave some of that red. And that's so that when you lay the candy over, you still have some of that kind of metallic kind of shining through the, the base paint. So. the free hand today wherever possible <clears throat> from Holland nice greetings to you good sir thank you for joining us found so proper t-shirts and sweatshirts nice 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 I mean that's what I started doing that's what got me into it was t-shirts and stuff so Thank you. 
Yeah, I wish you the best of luck. I mean, that's where I started was doing t-shirts and uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun over the years painting lots of t-shirts and still to this day, um, I like painting me some shirts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Obviously this past year with the whole pandemic and everything, I didn't get to paint too many t-shirts. Um, but, uh, you know, Hopefully everything bounces back soon and just put that all behind us and just keep on trucking. Uh, what's up battery uh, yeah so like I was explaining earlier it's like a collab between me and another painter and uh, this is like a candy paint job already but I guess the, the owner of the bike <clears throat> um, you know obviously he brings it here to have it airbrushed but the painter himself is uh, supposed to lay more candy o like over the whole bike and so he, between those layers he wanted to add the artwork um, so yeah it'll be more candy I assume more red, but I, I don't know for sure because I, I don't, I, ha, I have literally no communication with the painter, so I don't know. We do this a lot, you know, work with other places anytime they need some artwork done, they can just bring it in between whenever they're done. Base coating or if they want to lay an inner coat clear, whatever they feel more comfortable with. Um, lately, I haven't been able to make it out to people's shops because that's usually how it goes. But, uh, you know, we're making it work. What's up, Hira Mahi? How's it going? What's up, Jonathan? How's it going? Saludos, saludos. Uh, what's up, uh, how do you, Roy? Roy Inc. How's it going? I'm, is it Phoenix? Or I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I don't know what your name is. How do you pronounce it? Uh, what's up, CB Graphics? How's it going? Oh, always putting in work. I feel like I'm yelling. Am I yelling? Let me know if I'm yelling. If I'm too loud, I'll shut up. I'll turn it down. Sorry, I get a little excited. Hey, what's up, Christian? How's it going? Oh, good job, huh? We're just getting started. You let me know at the end how you feel. What's up, Bosco?
Zero Inc. All right. Uh, a 94 G20. So uh, if you're here in Pueblo uh, here pretty soon, um, probably not this week, but next week, as the weather starts changing, uh, you'll see me start promoting. If you go follow us on Facebook and Instagram and stuff, you'll see me start promoting uh, the, the Saturday cruises that we do. So if you want to, you know, say what's up in person, it's always possible once we start the cruises. Uh, yeah, you'll see me throughout the year too. I might share a few car shows if they ever start happening and stuff again. Um, yeah, and it's hard to miss me. I'm the guy with the Dragon Ball Z Camaro. So, yeah, just make sure you say what's up. You know, Mahi, you love low rider art. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. I've done a lot, so it can get, uh, not boring, but it can get repetitive, I guess is the word. And I just, I just wish they had more, more imagination, I guess, or chose different things, but it's like everybody gets about the same stuff. So it gets that thing where it's just like, ah, oh, that's what I did on the last car. Your car has potential to be like anything, and yeah. You know, girls and guns. Roses are pretty big, skulls are pretty big, like, I don't know, it's always about the same stuff. I mean, nothing wrong with it. If that's what you like, it's what you like. I just, from an artist's perspective, you know, it could get repetitive. Luckily, I haven't done too many of them lately, so right now it's a little bit refreshing to get this one in. And I wouldn't even be mad if a few more of them came in. You have kind of an important message above? Let's see, what did I miss? Uh, you paid for two super, super chats and they didn't show. What? Uh, what? That's weird. I'm sorry about that, dude. Maybe just, just hold off on the super chats for now. I mean, it was working last stream. I don't know. It's really something I have no control over. It's kind of just all automated and set up. Honestly, the, the better way to support the stream is either become a member and or, you know, go and order yourself some airbrush stencils or use the links down below to, you know, get yourself some airbrush supplies, stuff like that. Help us share anything you see. Like, you know, the usual stuff. And honestly, it, it, it'll be more, more of a direct help than the Super Chats. I really like the Super Chats, but, you know. <laughs> the tax man, he takes his cut. <laughs> But thank you, thank you. Either way, thank you. And I'm sorry that YouTube, yeah. Oh, you'll just send cash. <laughs> I mean, you can always get something made, right? Commission something if that's how you feel. If you really want to support, think of something you want made. Or if you ever see one of these paintings in the back, you know, just make an offer on the painting. Throughout the year, obviously, there's going to be a lot more painting and stuff going on, so... Maybe just hold your beans for a second. Maybe you'll see a painting throughout the year that you're just like, I gotta have that. And that's that's a great way to show support too. For any artist, right? Not just me. So if you see any of the artists, you know, they're painting something, you like it, you know, 
don't ever be afraid to be like, hey, can I buy that? How much would you want for it? Because you never know. They might just be like, yeah, if, if you want it, you know, make a reasonable offer. Now, I know I'm reasonable, right? You, you offer me a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks, and it's like, yeah, shoot, that helps pay some bills around here. Yeah, always reach out to any artist. What's up, Todd? How's it going? You making fleshing out look easy. <laughs> the topless lady with the chain, bro. Oh, you like that one? The one holding the skull? That one's pretty good, huh? It's sitting right there. Now you got me all distracted. Hold on. <laughs> right on C Roy <clears throat> we'll see you around I'm sure there's not too many vans so I'll make sure to ask if I see anybody with a van I'll be like yo is this C Roy <laughs> I'll make sure to do it in a real, real angry manner you know see that only you will know like He's cool. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get shot. Around here people are crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let's see. Before we get too much down here. Um, I also want to do the hair and stuff while we're at it. And that way I could uh, maybe even possibly switch chairs. And then we could just do this. Maybe I'll do the other side too at the same time since we're already up here, you know, and work them both. That way I don't have to keep switching. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. This is going to be a long stream, just so you know, because I'm trying to catch up from yesterday. <laughs> Air Todd doing the switcheroo, I like it. Man's everywhere. Right on, C Roy, we'll see you later. off here because that's kind of the whole point of this. So that way they lay more candy. It's, it's kind of kind of look like it's just all of a sudden glowing out of the, with the paint job. <clears throat> I thought I was on this one since you haven't been on Facebook Live. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna start it again. I'm gonna open the floodgates. Let everybody chat. Let everybody join. If you haven't gone and joined the new group too, uh, in the links to this video, there's a Facebook group. Go and join up. And yeah, if you have any questions about airbrushing, if you want to share your art, if you want me to see it and all that, that's the best place right now because it's popping, boy. It grew so fast; it already has like a hundred members or something. So. Make sure you go and join join up, and if you have any questions, pop them in there. And it's uh, you know, it's way better you pop them in there because not only can I help, you know, there's other people that 
that can also help you. So having the community around helps. And like when somebody asks a question and I answer it, then everybody can see the answer, right? So if somebody had that same question and they were just, you know, nervous to ask or, you know, or they didn't want to, for whatever reason, you know, you'll be able to find the answers there. You know, and if you ask it, maybe the next person will be like, hey, that's the question he answered last time. Yeah, you do this, you know, that kind of thing. So just make sure you go and you join up. free so again there's no charge to join there's no special nothing I think the, right now the only requirement we have is uh, your Facebook account has to be at least a year old to be able to join you know to avoid any spammers or bots or anything like that off this little bit of hair and then I'll switch over to her get that one done and then we'll switch chairs and get the bottom done and then we'll switch chairs again come back in with the black and then we'll probably switch chairs again to uh, do the sides here so Uh, what's up, Nicholas Thornton? So the stencils are available right there at uh, mikesbrush.com. Again, if you go in the links, you'll you'll see the links for it. I mean, it literally sec says Mike's custom stencils, and we now offer 20 different stencils, which is pretty good. Um, and only two of them, only two of the stencil kits are based around skulls. So I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> Like we could have just had a hundred skulls, you know, but it's like, that's not, that's not the point. If you want to make skull stencils, I literally have a video on how to make stencils. If you want specialized stencils that are going to kind of help you create certain effects and stuff, um, that's kind of what my <laughs> stencils are more about. Yeah, let's not forget you can make them. So the whole idea is selling you a unique design, not just, you know, a stencil for no reason but anyway um, yeah go down there check them out we have lots of them some of them have videos right so you if you don't know how to use it if you're unsure kind of have videos kind of showing how to use them and get some cool little effects going and um, I have the other set kind of still working on the videos I don't want to put up one video at a time. I kind of want to have all 10 of them done before I go putting anything up. So. Uh, no, we don't offer a, a package deal anymore. Uh, we do have international shipping that, though and free shipping in the US. Free to you guys, obviously, not free to me, but you know. We are able to offer the stencils at a nice uh, at a nice price with free shipping, and you know I try to get them done right away. When you place an order, usually the, the day after, the, maybe even the same day, depending on when you place your order, um, it gets shipped out. So it's kind of what my mornings have become: is just get stencils made. <laughs> Your crazy twin is at it again. 
You shared it in seven groups. You're a beast, bro. You're a beast. Thank you. Thank you for sharing it out. Uh, what's up, Eric Huckby? What's up, Randy Jones? Uh, <laughs> right on, yeah, right on, Randy. Uh, do you send your stencils to Holland? Yeah, you should be able to order. Um, the international shipping, I think it right now, is about a dollar per, per stencil. Uh, sometimes the shipping calculator gets all wonky, um, but I, I try to fix it. Uh, just recently and hopefully like the orders that came in yesterday they calculated correctly but you know usually if it doesn't miscalculation I'll, I'll throw in an extra stencil or something in for you because it's it's honestly a lot of work to go back <laughs> and like refund it and then have to resend you another invoice and like hope you pay for it and all that it's just like I'll just send you an extra stencil bro It's, it's an error on the automatic uh, shipping calculator thing, and I've been trying to get it fixed, but... <clears throat> so, let's see, that's about as far down as I could go. Maybe I could do that last finger real quick. Third finger, not really the last. What's up, Dennis? Oh, you're out of bed? That's good, man. Good, good. Good to hear. Hell yeah. All right, I think that's pretty good. We're gonna move on to this side and um, you know, get this girl all in place. Uh, so let's get you guys over here now. I could just leave you like that. That's a pretty good shot. You get to see that one and you'll get to see me build the other one just right next to it. Mirrored, of course. What's up, Franz? Franz Gerber, how's it going from South Africa? Uh, greetings to you, sir. I hope all is well. And much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, sir. Kind words. Nicholas, yeah, I always have some kind of troubles with it. Um, usually, though, I, I just can't dwell on it very long. You know, customers need their stuff back, and I'm kind of on a good enough policy. If it's good enough, you know, to me, it's probably going to be good enough to everybody. But some, some of the times, you know. I have had people like say certain stuff like hey this like there's been legit times when I miss something or something's just not right and then I have to go back and fix it it's not a big deal I'm able to admit when it's wrong there's also customers that are you know it'll never be right so that's why I'm on a 
on a good enough policy. If it's good, and usually if I have any doubts, I'll ask my wife, like, come check this out, you know? And then she'll walk in and she'll look at it, walk around, she does her poker face, you know? And then she'll she'll give me the beans, man, and she'll sometimes she'll tell me, you need to do this, or why is there no color in here, or, you know? She's pretty honest about it. She knows that it's not just like a, you know, compliments it's like we also have to repeat customers we need people to keep coming back and feel comfortable bringing their stuff here so uh, where do you go to join um, so if you want to join the skull squad right underneath the YouTube uh, video there's probably a a join button somewhere um, if not you could just click where it says Mike's brush and on the channel somewhere should be a join if you want to join the Facebook group um, that should be linked in the video description where all the links are you might have to like uh, click show more or something like that to uh, see all those but they're there What's up, Airmarkable Airbrush? Uh, what's up, Complete Auto Body? Yeah, I see. I'm. That's one of the airbrushes I'm trying to review next. Is the Badger Extreme Patriot, but uh, it's like out of stock. And I kind of want to order from somewhere where it's like in stock and I'll be able to order it and just have it and I don't want to like I don't want to order through Badger um, for no particular reason that sometimes I in that Badger group you see some of those nightmares of people just asking like hey when am, when is my thing gonna ship out and uh yeah, I can only say I've ordered directly from Badger once, and we got our stuff, uh, you know, reasonable time, I don't know, but uh, I see a lot of those, and I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm wary of back-ordering something, you know, I'd rather just wait. Saw the lights of the Goodyear blimp and it said Mike is a pimp. That's funny. What's up, Easy Blue? You got the promo deal how long did that take did you get it right away because that's kind of when I hear the worst is when they do those deals I always want to jump in but that's always what's kind of scared me is that people just after they do the deal then for the like months after you'll hear people just talking about when am I getting it when am I getting it and that's why I'm like oh, I'd rather just I'd rather just wait <laughs> I mean that's just me you know I don't know Especially that now we have so many airbrushes to compare it to. So many. But I keep seeing a lot of people talk, say good stuff about the Patriot Extreme, so I'm just kind of. I want to try. 
try it out. And since Ken never, I mean, yeah, Ken, he never got back to me. He emailed me and all that, and then never just never followed up. So I don't know. I'd rather just, I'd rather just order it, buy it with my own money, and just wait. Now I could be honest about it, you know, and say what I feel without no buffer, you know, like, oh, they sent it to me, overnighted it to me, and, you know, special delivery box or something. Like, no, I just want it the way you're going to get it. Modified Badger Extreme Patriot Aerial 154 ship. But what? Why? Why is it modified? What? What? Took perhaps three months. Holy crap! Can I make a Taz stencil? Yes, I could, but no, I don't sell those. And don't. Yeah, that's not what I do. I have videos showing it like how to make an airbrush stencil if you just type it into the search. Um, and it should pop up. And you can make it yourself, brother. Your Badger birthday order got lost in postage? Ah, that's bullcrap. That's crap. Each airbrush was only $55, so give mine away. Yeah, I, I don't mind paying a little more to just have it. I lost a few hundred dollars. That sucks, bro. I'm sorry. It's not even my fault, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you suck with stencils, Dennis. Uh. So I'm just making sure these match up. Go side to side. This, uh, yes, pretty good. I mean, mistakes are gonna be made, bro. Nobody is perfect, you know. But uh, at least if they're willing to work with you and fix it, then that's more than enough, right? So, hopefully, you reached out to Spray Gutter. They fixed it, as well as uh, you friends. Hopefully, you reached out to Badger and they fixed it. You know, I always try to. Like there's, you know, people message me all the time about the stencils and, and luckily 
every time they message me and I just say, just wait a little bit. And then they, you know, it's been like, oh yeah, you know, I just showed up a few days later. Thanks. Um, and there's been very few instances where I actually send another one out. And then right after I send it out, they say, hey, I received a stencil. Thanks for sending out another one. And I'm like, I just barely put the other one in the mail. So <laughs> you just received the first one. Um, so, yeah, I always just tell people to wait a little bit. Um, I mean, that's just been the, the, the postal service lately. And I have no control over the postal service. So. I just can apologize for the delays and just ask you to wait for me, please. And luckily, it's been working out. Especially on international orders, like I just, you know, just wait because it's in the mail. And as long as you gave me the correct address, uh, I, it's in the mail. Like it's going. That's as best as I can do. <laughs> From there, it's just hope it gets there. And if it don't get there, you know, I might send a replacement or two. But, you know, if it doesn't get there the second time, I, I just don't know what to tell you. Like, go and ask your neighbors or something to see if they got a package for you and they're just not telling you or something. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. What's up, Pablo Jr.? Do you still have the fire stencils? Yes, they're still available. Did I transfer the artwork line work with Saral paper? I don't know what that is. So I just use regular construction paper and I cut out stencils. Right, so this is like a stencil cut out. So you can, there you can see the, you can see through. And that's just kind of what I use to uh, transfer the image. And I just make them out of construction paper because it's just a one-off. Like, I'm going to use it for this, and that's it. I'm not going to use it again. Very rare that the same cust like a customer will come in and ask for the same thing. It might be similar, but not for the same one. And if it is, I'll just make another one. Like, it does not really, that's part of the whole deal, right? It's just making another one. For practicing, I guess, if you want to make them extras, like, it's cool. pretty good, huh? What's up, David Wright? Oh, so raw paper is like carbon paper for artists. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've just never worked with that. I've always just kind of made stencils that I spray through. Um, on most stuff like this, like automotive stuff, anything under the clear is going to be pretty noticeable. And uh, it might have adverse reactions after you're left out in the sun. So we just, I try not to lay anything that's going to go under the clear besides paint. That's just, that's just my personal preference. And I 
I've used like chalk in the past, like chalk, but like that usually when you use like chalk, it like blows off as you're going over, right? And you just usually use that to get the basic design, and then as you're going around, it kind of blows off, and you wipe, you know, maybe you wipe it off and stuff. So that's that's okay too. Ah, oh, they didn't reply. You should have just reached out to them. I know they're they're super busy. Our team told me that they've had a like a super influx of customers and stuff, so that's they put out an ad for like hiring. They're actually trying to hire more people to like um, manage the offices and stuff. He told me they literally have people like taking up offices in the hallway. So you know, just bear with them. They're going through some expansion. But keep you got you guys keep an eye out on Spray Gunner, man. He's seems to have some big ideas coming, and uh, yeah, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say is make sure you keep your eye on Artem, cause he might have some stuff popping. Make you some chili. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. Yeah, I only took one email and they took care of it. Yeah, that's what I said. Just reach out to them, actually make an email and stuff. Yeah, paper shields is the best way. That's that's all I use is just paper shield with paint, you know. Ton van der Wielen. Um so it says uh, we use Createx around here. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna keep it. We use Createx. I use Createx. Uh, Randy Jones, you're the reason I got to. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Randy Jones. Good luck to you, sir. I usually don't know how to take that comment. It's like, did you take it up? Cause it, I made it look easy. Does it look fun? What did I do to make you want to do it? Like that's that's my thing. If I knew what I did, then I would do more of that. <laughs> Get as many people involved as possible, right? Like it's everybody airbrushing. Now let's just get this gun in here and we can move on down to the rows. And then we can work our way back with black. And at some point I'm gonna have to go get something to drink too because my mouth is getting dry. Alright, just trying to make sure I get it okay. Tomorrow you will be doing some airbrushing. Cool, man. What are you going to be painting? I guess this time the shine would come from this way. Get our pin or something that's here.
How long have you been airbrushing? So, um, it's been 20 years this year. It's been a long time now. And if you go, that's actually funny. Uh, if you go and join up on that Facebook group, right, in the links, um, you'll see that there's a Facebook group linked up. And one of the posts on there is actually, I have some pictures there of me, or more of my setups, I guess. One from 10 years ago, one from 15 years ago. And that's about as old as I could find. Um, MySpace wouldn't load farther back than that yeah i said myspace bro um so yeah and anything before myspace was like physical pictures and those have definitely have been lost to time so yeah. there's a picture there me i'm 19 standing in front of my airbrush stand at the Mile High Flea Market, thinking I'm a badass. So already at 19, I was already doing the market, and I was already doing it for a while at that point. That's just when MySpace started popping off, and I start. I got a a camera like I had a Sony camera because my phone didn't have a camera and stuff and a camera phone was so expensive but I went down to the pawn shop and uh, they had this Sony I forget the model number but uh, it was a Sony camera and went and bought that and came with a cable hooked it up to my laptop and that's how I would get pictures up onto MySpace bro and it was it's fun. So this girl's wearing gloves, in case you're wondering. Because it looks funny. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, but which one? So on automotive stuff like this, I'm using... I use Createx Wicked. one you're supposed to use. Uh, now now I could say that with confidence, without any hesitation, without any bullshit. Uh, you know, use the Createx Wicked. If you're going to order a paint today, and they have auto air in stock, um, I mean, you could buy it, and you can still use it, and it's still good. But uh, if they also have it in Wicked line, I would just order the Wicked line. Their new Wicked opaques are super good and that's what I'm using right now is wicked opaque white Right on top notch family, thank you, thank you sir. Thank you for the kind words. I try my best, I try to be nice. Um, I, I've, I've tried to be nicer over the years. I'm, in, I'm still working on it, but like, you gotta see it kind of from my perspective and it's been uh, a good decade and a half of people asking me the same questions, right? Even in the MySpace times, like it was the same questions that people ask me now and a lot of them are questions that if you just try you know just try it out for yourself like you're gonna answer your own question or, or if you just go and look for the information like you're gonna find the information and it's gonna tell you what to use right so like at the beginning of the videos I run those um, I have those four different flyers right it kind of tells you to use the links and one of them though says uh, 
you know, if you have any info, uh, questions about Createx Paint, make sure you visit creatextech.com. And that's honestly the best place to get yourself informed. And then from there, um, you know, the Createx YouTube channel has really good videos specific on, you know, just the differences on the paint and stuff like that, you know. And so if you have really questions about the paint, it's, it's better to go ask the person that makes the paint, right? I'm just a paint user. Um, so, yeah. But then once you get those basics down, then you can, you know, if you have questions about, you know, reduction, you know, how to produce the artwork and all that, then I could kind of help you out a little bit. But honestly, a lot of the information is just me just repeating what it says on the site. And I'm just, I've gotten okay with it, but, you know, I'm going to keep saying it so that people just keep going and visiting the website. <laughs> What's up, JJ? How's it going, man? Um, so yeah, I think I got those pretty good. Let me see here. And the rest of it's low enough that it's gonna make my back hurt. So I'm gonna switch chairs, but while I'm gonna switch chairs, I'm also gonna go get myself a drink um, real quick. So give me a couple minutes real quick. I'll probably go run to the restroom real quick and everything. So give me one second, I'll be right back, guys. So we'll work on the bottom. It was Deadpool? What was Deadpool? What did I miss? 
All right, so here's the bottom, which is these roses here. I also have to finish the bottom finger and this over here, so just get the camera in a good position. And uh, we'll get it working, all the white, and then I'm going to come, and since we're already sitting down at this position, I'm going to kind of, there you go, I'm going to just start with the black down here and work our way back up. Uh, you wish me success for years to come. Thank you, thank you. Um, you know, um, I hope your grandfather's still alive. If not, I'm sure he's proud of what you're doing. Is this white 50/50? No. So this is the new opaque white, and I only did about a five percent reduction. So it's almost like straight out of the bottle. Just for maximum poppage right away. Poppage, man. What you know about that poppage? Maximum brightness. Maximum coverage. Lots of ways you can put it, I guess. dry tip and I also have a clogged top. So unclog the top so that, that can vent.
What's up, Iron Wolf? Thank you, thank you, sir. nice and bright so they'll really stick out from the background when they lay the candy over they'll be really standout-ish No, I say 5%, I mean like 5%, like 5% reducer added in. Uh, what's up, Justice? Looking dope, huh? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's move it over. If you just got here, look, we got all that done. And that's just white. We're still going to hit it back with a little bit of black just to uh, kind of get, you know, Get it to pop a little bit. You know, you throw the candy over. You know, you want some of that poppity pop, and you want it to look like, mmm, mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some of that mmm in there, and mmm, mmm, mmm. Now with this rose, I gotta be a little bit careful because I do want some of that original red to kind of stick out so what we're gonna do is kind of lay in the white as the building up the highlights and then we're gonna come in dark with the black um, to really kind of build up those tones but we're gonna really kind of leave a mid mid tones of red is kind of what I'm trying to say Mike, she looks like she has too many fingers. Which one? I mean, oh yeah, I so said what? One, two, three, four. What is this? Does this picture have it? This picture has it too! Bro, what? Oh, that's freaking hilarious. I didn't even notice. So, I. <laughs> oh my god. No, that's definitely a figure. I can't even I can't even say that he tried to make it be like the wrist or nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. On both sides, bro. On both sides. The both both images are based off the same one and they're based off this picture he sent me and on the picture this picture he sent she has she has six fingers on her hand. Oh my god, bro, that's hilarious. Ah, it's all right. We'll we'll fix it. It's not a big deal. It's just funny more than anything. That's freaking funny, dude. Oh yay. Honestly, I can't believe I didn't catch it when I was doing the transfer. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> ay, ay. I'm glad, I'm glad I said at the beginning that I can't take credit for the original drawing because it's not mine. And there you go, there you go. That's something that I definitely, like I would not have missed on if it was my painting. <laughs> uh. 
Ay, ay. Hilarious. Oh well, mistakes happen. That's also something that we've already touched upon on here, is the mistakes happen. It's alright, we fix it. So in this particular case, I mean, the easiest way is just fucking, we're gonna have to outline the gun anyway. Alright, so we're just gonna have to add the highlight to the grip here. Like maybe she has an extended magazine. There you go, that's the easy way to hide it. Okay, her magazine sticks out of the gun a little bit. So, ah, uh, then we got the bottom of the gun here. Ah, uh, something like that, and then we're gonna outline it with the black. That'll kind of cut it. I can't believe that, bro. That's. <sighs> And this video, this video, this picture probably has like a million likes on Instagram or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Be a good outfielder. <laughs> right on top notch. Right on top notch. We'll see you later, man. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. What's up, Matt? How's it going? Now I have to point that out to the customer when he shows up. I'm going to be like, you know that picture you sent me? That girl has six fingers. I bet you he says, no, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I start making bets. Oh, you want to bet twenty dollars on this? She does. <laughs> maybe he liked the six fingers yeah I don't know maybe he did yeah that's definitely something you brought up and uh, definitely would have uh, eventually ended up either coming here or you know ended up some kind of smack talk somewhere along the way so thank you for that oh my god definitely gonna have to mention it to the customer though because he was so I want that picture. This and I was like, okay, like, yeah.
Nah, we already got it. We already covered it with magazine and stuff. That would be fine. Once I add the black, it won't even be noticeable. Just gotta make sure I do the same thing on the other side now. Throw in an extra trigger to even it out. Yeah, you gotta have an extra trigger for that extra pinky at the bottom, you know, because you got five fingers like this. It, <laughs> you know, maybe you can get it like a double shot. Plop, 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 plop. <laughs> I like the way you think, brother. Right on, Franz. Have a good night, sir. Thank you for dropping in. You can always catch the replay later if you want to see how they turned out. Thank you, thank you for stopping in. She was a test tube baby. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. <coughs> oh, my gosh. All right, hold on. You guys are distracting me. Okay, never mind. Reshake re this paint real quick. Uh, you'll send Tim's site with modified Badger Extreme page. That, what? You're gonna send one? What's modified about it? That's what I don't understand. Like, what? I don't want to buy a modified one. I want the original Extreme Arrow. And then later, then later on, maybe I'll try the modified ones, or you know, modify it myself, and see you know, if it performs any different or what. If it's really worth the modification or not. Because I love the Sotar 2020. I just wish that cup was just a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger. And I'd be in love with that airbrush. I also wish, man, just. I just wish Badger stepped up their game and they gave up some of the old stuff, right? Like the the hose connection. Like, yo, can we just can we just all just rock the same hose connection? Like, why 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 the hostility in, in the sizes, man? Can we just have them all be the kind of about the same the same connection? Like, you could have your own valve mechanism in there, whatever you want. I don't care, but I'm just you know, it'd be nice that when I could tell people to order a hose that it's gonna fit their airbrush like that's all I want I want to be able to order a hose and it just says airbrush hose and I know that I'm gonna be able to order it and just have a nice hose and not have to order like a special specific one that only certain brands sell or is only available directly from Badger or some other crap but like, can we just can we just yeah, that's all that's all I want just standardize some of this stuff like I don't know maybe it's too much I don't know I'm just a guy painting bro I just I know sometimes it's frustrating though recommending stuff to you guys and you guys are like oh that didn't fit my badger or my pache <laughs> uh, oh you'll send the info yeah send the info over sure uh, the trigger and the needle are different oh Okay. What? Uh, 
I assume it's probably just a finer needle, which um, can be a, a good thing and a bad thing. It just depends. That's why I would run to try the original one first, and then make and then make my own assumptions from there. So it might be the original one might just be good enough. I find most airbrushes are just, you know, they're pretty good. You don't have to do much to them. A trigger, it depends if it adds more comfort or something. It'd be nice. It's weird, but it's probably a patent thing. Most of them leak air. My, my, I've never bought a hose that leaks air besides that one pash and the pache hose that one time. But that that was the hose, and I didn't buy that hose separate. That's just the hose that came with it. But it was definitely the hose was like I don't know if it's supposed to come bent or not, but it just seemed like it was bent. And no matter how hard I tightened that sucker down, it just it would leak. Yeah, it was leaking from like the the actual part here where it connects the hose to the to like the to the bolt on area to where you bolt on like your airbrush to the actual connection. So it was like I don't know, it was just a manufacturing defect. That was the only time. Other than that, I've never had a hose that leaks. All my hoses like even the Iwata hoses that I've had for like over a decade now, like a long time. I've had those for a long, long time, and they still work pretty good. The Badger hoses that I had too, they work really good. I'm just complaining that like I have to have a Badger hose to use the Badger airbrush. When it's just like there's so many cool airbrush hoses out there, like the, the ones from Spray Gunner, these orange ones. These are cool. I like that they're orange and stuff. But like you know, that just opens the door to like having custom hoses and stuff that people could buy. Like, and you could be sure that it's going to fit your airbrush. And, you know, it opens a little market, you know, like you standardize some stuff so that it's intermixable and, and people could do that. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, you're right. It might be a patent thing. I don't know. But a lot of airbrushes have this size, like, and they're not just Iwata airbrushes, like, I don't know. Maybe there's just the airbrushes coming up from the Iwata factories that have it. I don't know. Obviously, there's something there that I'm not I'm not aware of. And, but I just I just wish it was a thing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's a lower trigger. It comes with a tall trigger. Like like this. Like that's what it comes with. It comes with a tall trigger. Because a tall trigger would give you more control. I'm just saying. Uh, so right now we're using the brand new um, Wicked Opaque White uh, to get these designs in there. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to leave that there. We're going to come back with the black and cut in. I'm just going to move my chair over a little bit. Move you guys over. And we'll get this other rose done. And then we'll cut in with the black, and then we can move on to the sides of the air of the saddlebags here, and uh, get that finished. Then send these back off to the painter, who will finish them up. See, look on this side, I didn't shade in that fifth finger there, the sixth finger here. I only did it on the other side. So on this side, it's a lot easier to just like this is the end of the hand. I can just highlight that there. And then we have the area where, like, the extended or the bottom of the magazine is going to be showing, you know, boom. Got that here, and then we got the magazine kind of popping into the gun right there, boom. Nothing too crazy, right? It's just the bottom of the gun. But uh, on this side, like, we obviously have to lay in some black, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of match these up see that's my brain kind of knowing I had to stop on this side I was just like oh it's there and I looked down at the picture and I was like it's there and yeah <laughs> it's not supposed to be there <clears throat> yeah badgers are okay I like their airbrushes 
I just I like to I like to try them on, right? That's kind of the whole point. So I can't tell you which airbrush is the best or which one sprays better over another unless I try them all. And there's a lot of airbrushes to try, so. But I know I I like I'm I kind of you know with the reviews and stuff I try to order like one airbrush from that brand and one airbrush from this brand and you know try to give every brand a chance I'm not trying to be selective and only pick one brand or whatever you know I'm just trying to give everybody a shot and all I'm saying right now is I just wish there was Badger Patriot Extremes like in stock in places uh, mainly spray gunner i wish they were in stock at spray gunner because that's all that's obviously where i'm gonna order it from if it's available there right away <clears throat> i'm pretty sure that's where a lot of you would probably order it and yeah and spray gunner does a pretty good job of packaging their stuff and all that jazz so i kind of trust them having that little bit of control just to make sure it gets here a little bit better in shipping and I don't have to wait, right? Like, if it was in stock, I could just order it. I could just have it and not wait. Like, you know, not have to get no special deal or anything like that. Like, just let me buy it. Like I said, people with the air with the reviews too, I like the experience of buying it because then I could tell you for sure, unbiased. Like this airbrush just works better than that airbrush, or that airbrush works better than this airbrush. And I don't know, owe any of these companies anything, right? That's all I'm saying. And that's all the review is, is just giving you my opinion. And I want that opinion to be nice and, and pure and just like, mm, you know. <laughs> you can't even think of what to paint on your car. Yeah, that's the hardest part. <clears throat> uh, was it just a tack rag? Yeah, it's just a tack rag. Yeah, they all spray different. They all have their own little kind of niche. You know, they all, depending on what you like. And it might even be that what I like is not what you like. But if you're like just looking at one, you don't know what it comes with. You don't know what kind of, uh, you know, nozzle type and all that. Because some, some of the brands, there isn't very good pictures out there to like, you know, see all that. But in the videos I show you, you know, this is how it comes. This is how it works. I try not to compare them all that much, but sometimes it's just like, yeah, this, something works so good that it's like, yeah, it, it works just as good as that or better than that. And I feel comfortable saying it without having to be like, oh, you know, anything. I can just say what I want. So I try to keep it that way. <clears throat> uh, the Talon Pache Iwata Revolution are my two favorites. <clears throat> the Renegade is not fun to clean. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't tried the Renegade. Spit it out. I think I got it. Yep.
the dip in the cup. <clears throat> yeah. I feel you on the inside of the cup, but I feel like sometimes those, uh, it's all designed to really get the most, all the paint out of there, right? Not let paint kind of sit in the airbrush. It's all designed to like blow it out. So it should help you clean it if you just kind of rinse water through it. You know, like if you put the spray bottle through here and you rinse it out, then you pull back on the needle really good and, and get it really nice and flowing out. Most, you know, of the paint in there is going to kind of flow out, you know. But for sure, if you're just trying to like get a, a rag or, you know, anything in there to kind of clean it out, it just feels like it gets in the way for sure. Dry tip though, oh yeah, dry tip. <clears throat> Get a paper towel like this, this is kind of what I've been doing, is just squeeze that paper towel in there. And, you know. <laughs> you gotta try, just try to get it off of there is all I can say. Especially when you're doing really fine stuff like this, even just a little bit of dry tip will really mess up your day. And uh, dry tip can be so bad that it could clog your airbrush, right? So it'll stop you from spraying all entirely if you don't clean it off. So it's kind of, I literally, like you see my fingers right here? Um, you see those white spots? That's kind of just literally, I have like, um, not scabs, um, calluses. Literally from just doing this constantly, all the time. I need a, I have an idea for a tool to uh, kind of clean off the the dry tip right away and uh, yeah, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to bring that to you guys if I can make it a, a reality, you know. I mean, and if we keep getting commissions the way they're coming in lately, it's going to happen. baby bottle brush it's small and not coarse yeah that'll work a hollow shaft quip with water q-tip oh yeah yeah the ones where you can stick something yeah I, I that'll work pretty good too I guess yeah both pretty good ideas like I'm just saying it would be nice to have a specialized tool so that you could just you know for sure just and then take the dry tip off and you wouldn't have to worry about it hurting anything or anything like that. See, I'm just battling that little bit of dry tip. dry tips all through. There's actually like a, a piece of paint like stuck right at the nozzle and it's just not coming out. Shake this back up real quick. A lot of times shaking it and blowing it out it helps. Uh, 
stuff like that. piece of damp foam sponge works well. I cut up a cheap car washing sponge to use. Uh, right on, Air Todd. We'll see you later, man. Have a good one. Thank you for dropping in. I told you guys it's going to be a long stream. Actually, I don't know. We'll probably get this done, and I'll probably stop the stream there. Um, it's, it's, yeah. I'm going to get hungry, and I'm going to want to take a break, and I'm going to want to eat and then come back to this a little later and get the sides done so even though I'm going to be airbrushing the rest of the day it'll be without you guys but you can always keep an eye on social media I'll probably take a little quick video and post it on there you know maybe some pictures so Uh, Jess is going to be walking through the door here any minute. Or in a few minutes, I'm sure she'll be showing up. And yeah. That's ah, usually a good sign it's lunchtime. Luckily, the black shouldn't take too long. I'm sorry, but whoever that is in Russian, uh, greetings to you. But I, I can't read. I can't read what it says. <laughs> also, I assume that's Russian. I don't know if it is. And it had a, a tractor and a thumbs up, so I don't know. <laughs> I really. <laughs> I really don't know what, what it is. Hopefully he's not talking smack that I should be working on a tractor or something. Pretty much does it for the whites. Whoa! Oh, jeez. <sighs> Luckily, that landed just perfectly. Shake up this black. Make sure I clear out the vent at the top. Amazing, the text tweaked.
this hole's already open because paint's already coming through, so just make sure I wipe that off. Good. Got good flow of paint, and let's just cut it right in here, right where we're at, so. Oh, you're okay. That that makes sense. I actually think I'm going to just throw a little bit of reducer into this black here. Just a little bit more. Not too much. Then I'm going to make sure to shake it up really good. It's been sitting here for a minute, so...
sweet. That looks pretty nice. So now I'm just gonna focus down these leaves. Am I getting in the way of the camera every time I do that? <laughs> Sorry, I had no idea I was doing that.
See, just like that. Spare finger gone. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Oh, uh, can you make some of those bowls that you got? Okay. Sure. <laughs> What's up, Stephen Ward? Been good, been good. Just getting a lot of painting done. We're sanding. And then there was the nightmare that was yesterday. That just turned it just turned into a nightmare. It didn't start off as a nightmare, but it turned out to be a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. But it's done and it'll be done for a while. I won't have to redo it or touch it or do anything. And that's good to know. What's up, Jose? You don't have to put your name and where you're from <laughs> in your comment, just so you know. You can just, you know, say what's up. I could already see your name. But hello to you. How do you do, sir? You having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. about as high as I'm gonna go on that. Let me get some more done over here on this little bit of dress that you can see or shirt or blouse, whatever you want. Whatever you want to imagine that it is. Let's get some of that in there. Get some of this hair. Can't really 
can't go much higher than that without moving myself, so. Dairy Queen, Hobby Lobby, then home. <laughs> nice. That sounds like a pretty good run. Alright, let's move you guys over to this side. Let's get this other rose nice and finished. Ah, gotta move myself over a little bit. clear would be good to put over a set of leather gloves so gloves is a rough one because it's gloves so it's gonna have a hard time staying on there no matter what you put because it's gonna get bent and you know stuff but honestly um on leather i have had the the best results um using that that uh, Rust-Oleum clear just for leather it's a hard one though I don't want to you know I don't want to make it seem like it's gonna be like fall off proof or anything like that because it's probably gonna like gloves is just a, a rough one you know because it's people just bend it and stuff like it's gloves there's no way to avoid it being a glove now if it's something that's just gonna sit up on the shelf or something like you painted a baseball glove, then that should be just fine with just about any clear. The thing is, uh, you know, if it's a glove that's going to be used, that's where you start running into some issues. You know, from from all this, from doing this, all that bandage, it's really not good uh, for anything that dries up solid. So, honestly. You might even have the best results by just spraying the paint straight onto the leather. Make sure you're, you clean your leather off really good with like alcohol or something. You know how leather kind of looks dry? Uh, make sure it looks like dry. Um, you know, it has that dry kind of look and feel to it right before you start laying your paint. And then if you're using the original line of colors, the original airbrush colors, you might have really good results uh, just kind of heat, like not heat pressing it, but like if you have a blow dryer or a heat gun, just kind of heating it up onto the leather. And that's probably the best way I'd recommend. I'd, you know, try that and see if how that holds up. And then maybe, if anything, do that and then just throw some of that Rust-Oleum clear on it. The Createx 4050 stuff will, will work really good too. I just know it, it drives up pretty stiff, you know, it dries up hard. So when you, when you have it on something like that, and it's not really designed to go on a... textiles like that but you could try it that's what i would say just try it find out let me know <laughs> you let me know what clear works good on the gloves yeah i don't get too many requests for gloves and when i do i try to explain it like hey you know it's it's gonna be kind of iffy how well it's gonna stand on here and I have done like baseball gloves and stuff and you know people just tell me like no we have like a stand for it it's gonna sit up there like you know this was my grandfather's glove or something like that you know 
that and then it's like oh okay no problem yeah I can put some clear on there and as long as you're not gonna move it or touch it then you know at that point it doesn't really matter which one you use uh, what's up Joe Wilkinson Getting your boat ready. Oh, man, you lucky man having a boat. That's bala. Bala bala. What kind of boat do you have? Is it like a speed boat or something? Yeah, yeah, honestly, it just I would just uh, use the original line, try to heat press it on there, and um, honestly, you might have good results without having to spray it clear over, uh, just letting that heat press in. And the reason that might be, too, is if you spray it clear over, the clear attaches to the paint, and then if the clear cracks, then it leads into cracks and pulls on your airbrush paint. But say your airbrush paint is already really good adhered to the surface, um, you know, maybe you don't even have to lay, you know, a, a, you know, it might just last longer if you don't put a, a clear coat over it, a traditional clear coat, you know, just using the 4050, even the 4030. I know it can be confusing, but I know the 4050 has a lot of grab, so that's probably where I would start. Maybe some 4050 if you already have it. If not, try the Rust-Oleum stuff. I know a lot of people have that, and it's easy to get. Um, but yeah, definitely cool though, because if you can make like some skull skeleton hands, you know. Or make some hands like made out of scales like your reptile you know that'd be dope too mm-hmm I can see a lot of uses for painting gloves big fishing boat oh that sounds even better than a speed boat all right see that and then we could just hide this extra finger here and it'll be like nothing ever happened Just like that extra finger gone. Boom. You painted them as old school riding gloves, but skeleton hands. <laughs> yeah. Or if 
you made it look like the Terminator, you know, if you made it look like pistons and and like stuff, you know, holding your fingers together. So when you moved it, it looked like, you know, the Terminator hand, like all robotic. That's also, that, that, ooh, that would probably look pretty sick. Still pretty funny that this painting had, or this drawing had an extra finger on each hand. Or, yeah, an extra finger. Pretty hilarious. Hola Hugo, saludos. You'll post the pic on the Facebook page. Yeah, do that. Biomech, Biomech's also pretty good. I'm just, I'm, I like more of just full-on mechanical, like the Terminator, where it's just like, you know, yeah, he had the like the skin layer, but everything underneath the skin layer, and when you see the Terminators, you know, um, they're like full-on mechanical machines, and I like that. That looks sick. Like just a robot. stuff done right here and then we can move a chair up finish up this black and then that'll be done for this side and I'm probably gonna end the stream right there I could take a break get my back a break for a second and then yeah I'll come back out here and put a movie on and finish it up but if you want to see the finished project make sure you uh, either subscribe or like or go follow us on social media and i'll make sure to post a picture up on there for you guys to all see and yeah if you want to share your pictures with me uh the best way is to join up on the facebook group i'm gonna try to keep promoting that as much as possible so we can get as many members as possible so if you have airbrush questions you need advice you just want to share your pictures or all that jazz the best way to answer i mean the best way to get advice and all that is to go on the Facebook group and stuff and just makes it super easy to share the info with everybody and if you're on there you know try to answer some questions it always helps because we've all been there when we're all learning and trying to get you know information and so yeah I started my own group too because I got banned from another group for defending myself <laughs> for literally you know somebody posted the comments and said you know there's no good information on YouTube and I literally have hundreds of videos or thousands of hours and you know obviously not everybody's going to sit through it but to say the information is not good it, it, that's wrong and before I even had a chance to defend myself all, all I did was post a gift that said excuse me and then the person that posted it posted like four or five replies I was busy painting you know, and then when I went back, you know, I didn't even have a chance to defend myself. I was, I was banned and that was that. So in, or, in order for nobody else to get silenced in that way, I started my own group and, you know, that way it's a more friendly environment and everybody and I'll be running it myself um, so that no, no crazy person can run the airbrush community. It should be run by somebody in the airbrush community, not just the rando guy. Uh, rando commando that doesn't know who people are that's all I'm gonna say about that right there so go and join up and yeah I can't wait to see your questions there's already lots of knowledgeable people in the group answering questions and asking questions and doing the whole shebang and can't wait to see you guys' work over there and as always appreciate all the support so you know 
No, I'm here for you. You know, I'm here for you. I'm trying to teach you. Trying to make it easy, trying to make it understandable. And again, if I'm not if I'm not available to answer, some of the members are there so that, you know, everybody can share the information, keep it open. And yeah, we could all grow together as one big tree family. Onions, huh? chicken so this food is steaming hot so I'm gonna just put it aside for a sec we're almost finished so hopefully by the time I finish it cools off and uh, we're able to eat So here we are on the face. We can zoom in on this face, right? Sure. Uh, you have an old car, You're more interested in trying to fix the paint. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. It's hard. Oh, it's hard to. There's so much that goes into painting a car. There really is. If you do it section by section, it can be a lot easier. But uh, it's still a lot of work, no matter how you see it. And uh, you just gotta be prepared and know up front that you might have to respray a panel or two. Not everything's gonna come out perfect right away. And that's why I say maybe test it out on something. You know, get a metal panel or, or you could even go to the junkyard and you can buy a hood. Take that home, practice on it, you know. Lay all your artwork, you know, do whatever it is you wanna practice and then practice laying a clear over it because the clear is also a big important part that goes into spraying on vehicles um, you might get lucky you might be able to go into like a uh, an auto body shop and they might be willing to work with you on having it cleared so matrix for the animated movie the renaissance yeah I mean there's a lot of characters out there yeah, that was the plan, Junkyard Metal. Yeah, that, that's what I would recommend. So you might get lucky, you, you know, I like, sometimes when I walk the junkyard, you can get lucky and you'll walk up to a car and the, the hood will already be detached or a fender will already be detached. And you just kind of got to pick it up and walk away with it.
hola Adriano, gracias. Are you adding any color to this or just black and white? No, this is just black and white. Um, the painter, I guess, for the motorcycle is actually going to paint it. When, um, he's going to put candy over it. So this is actually a candy paint job that's already on these on this bike, but I guess they're going to add more candy to make it more deep or darker. And uh, the customer wanted uh, artwork in between the layers, so that's what we're doing. Putting in some artwork, and then I give it back to the customer. He's going to take it back to over to the painter. And the painter is going to lay some candy, do his thing. Typical way it works when I work alongside somebody else, or when a customer has, you know, a certain painter he wants to use because the painter could be doing other stuff. You know, maybe he's doing graphics, maybe he's, you know, or maybe the painter just doesn't do artwork, which is also a lot of pretty common. So they bring it here, get the artwork done, and take it back. So, short answer to your question is no. No more color, just black and white. But that's the reason why. It's because they're going to be spraying candy over it. Got that just about perfect. Seems weird layering and not just having you do it. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I guess, I don't know. Like, people have their reasons. Um, who knows, he might have wrecked the bike and might have it in for repairs, so the, the place that he's working on might be doing body work or something, or extra mods, like they might be doing, you know, radio system or something. Well, while it's in there, you know they're going to be doing some paint work, so you can here. I think there's lots of reasons where it's just, you know, maybe the customer just has a, a private relationship with that painter and he just wants him to do it. It's really something I don't really, I don't really care. I'm just like, yeah, if you want me to airbrush it, I'll airbrush it, I don't care. Especially like this guy is a repeat customer, so he brought this bike in last year and did the, the gangster art for him last year and so bringing it in again it's just like oh yeah cool, sure, whatever you want. So I'm just going to throw the white highlights on this one since we're already here. I just want one nice one right there, there we go. right on the eye, going to kind of hit the nose a little brighter right there and then just a little bit of sparkles on the lips here to really kind of pop those out blend in a little bit better right above the lips just to give it a nice little pop and then a nice little highlight right here on her chin blend in the cheek a little bit and there you go, she looks nice and soft. And her eye looks nice and shiny. And now we can move on to the other side. This food is calling my name. It's like, mmm, it smells delicious. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just, there's a lot of reasons, you know. You never know what's going on in the back end. I always don't question, it's like, you're just bringing it here. I know you're bringing it here for a reason. You're not just bringing it just because, you know. You either like the artwork here or whatever it is. 
And as long as they're bringing it through that door, I'm happy. <laughs> What's up, skins? Skin sill? leg. And that looks pretty good, huh? Looks pretty good. Am I doing the shoulder thing again? I think I'm doing the shoulder thing. I try to kind of have you guys right over my shoulder so you can see. That seems to be the angle that people like to see is, you know, that right over the shoulder look.
Right on, thanks Steve. Sometimes some reassurance is all you need, you know. So all I can see is what my eyes see, but I don't know how other people see it. Probably need to lay more white highlights in on this side compared to the other side. You've been hesitating on doing some art in your bike. Yeah, you just got to do it, man. Just get in there. Get your hands dirty. with the whites just hit a little bit on the nose right there smoothing out the cheek good smooth out that upper lip very nice highlight the chin up right here very nice looks good um, what did I say the white highlights on the hair Why highlights, bro? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna match this side up. Do some white highlight on her eyes. Good. A little spot on her ring, on her piercing there. Good. Looks good. Let's get you guys the money shot. So there you go. Like I said, uh, we kind of leave it, leave it there because they're gonna blow, blow candy on it. Spray some candy on it. I'm trying to keep that lighting from getting too dark or too bright. There you go, perfect. And uh, for reference, I mean, it's like two handfuls. All right? They're gonna spray, spray candy on it, which will turn it all red, kind of melt it into the paint job, and so they'll be nice and kind of lived in, kind of feel. Looks good. Hopefully, you know, you guys had fun watching. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to eat my lunch and then come back. I'll do the sides and that'll be the end of this. You won't see any more of this. You'll see it on social media. I'll show a post or two about it and get it on its way. Um, but yeah, we still have lots of projects. Uh, so I might come back live uh, later on tomorrow. Uh, yeah, probably tomorrow in the afternoon. I uh, got a graduation cap with a portrait on it, so we'll get that done. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys again all for hanging out. 
Oh, you gotta go. Yep. Gotta go. Okay. It's what? Oh, okay. Um, love you, babe. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, as always, uh, thank you. Shout out to the sponsors, uh, CreateX again for providing paint for today's video. Um, if you want to get yourself something nice and you want to help out the channel, using those links uh, down below. Uh, so, down below over there on Facebook, I think it's up top or to the side. I don't know, whatever side. There, that way, this way, that way. Anyway, there's links. If you use those links, uh, it'll direct you over to Spray Gunner. Some of them will direct you to Amazon. But using any of those links uh, helps you kind of helps the channel. You know, using any of those links provides a kickback to the channel, so we can provide that to use more to make more videos. I can't even think. I need a break. I need to eat. Um, but yeah. So shout out to Spray Gunner. Make sure you go uh, do all that. Also, if you haven't already sign up for the giveaway i'll share it out real quick so you guys can go and get your entries um there's a bunch of stencils in the works and all that um i mean a bunch of stencils included in the package so make sure you go and you sign up at this link that i'm about to share um and yeah, make sure you go there, go sign up, uh, go and subscribe to me, go subscribe to Createx, Steve Leahy. Uh, the paintings that he provided are awesome. Um, yeah, and like always, uh, shout out to the Skull Squad, so all you guys that are members over on YouTube, you guys are the real ones. Um, thank you guys for all the support. Hope this video helps, and we'll see you guys in the next one. I like, you see how the lighting plays with it already, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys all for hanging out, and we'll see you guys later.